All right, well, good morning or afternoon, students. So we're gonna go over the, the notes for multimal ratios. And this is primarily for those of you that are working on the test right now. I would like you to also have out the packet we just handed back today, the stoichiometry unit table of contents. And what I'd really like you to do, let me zoom out here a bit, is we need to really go to the second page. So turn this over. And we're gonna be looking at this, working with this double mole MVP double triangle there. So have this next to your notes to you because we're going to be pretty much more or less our notes are primarily working kind of recopying this in a simple form. So let's get that going and I'll zoom in here a tad. So first off, let's start by drawing a real simple MVP triangle over here. And by simple, we'll just do mole, we'll do MVP for our mass, our volume and particles. I'm really proud of you all because you did a great job on that last test. You really have, I think, in the process of, if you haven't mastered it, you, you're close to it. And then now, so what we're going to do is we're going to draw an arrow coming over here and we're going to draw another MVP triangle. So we'll label this mole and do our MVP because now in the second part of the mole unit, we're going to be working inside of a balanced chemical equation to figure out stuff. And that's going to require us to jump between two compounds. And so since we're jumping between two compounds, we'll need two MVP triangles. So what we'll do is we got this there. That's looking good so far. We're going to label this as A, okay, compound A. And what do you figure we're going to label this one? Yeah, they said C if you couldn't hear. Okay, B. All right, compound B. That's funny. Up here, th three. You guys are funny. Okay, so we got that. Now, when we're working these problems, this triangle is going to be for the, the given. Okay, in a problem, what we're given to convert. So we're going to write here given. So if the problem says you have 36 liters of, of CO2, we're going to start on this side. CO2 will be our compound A, okay, the given. And then over here, this is going to be what we're trying to find. Because maybe in the problem, they're going to say, you've got all this CO2. How many grams of water does it take to do that reaction? So we're going to call this side over here the find side. So find, given. So we're going to be starting probably when we do these big stoichiometry problems, somewhere on this triangle, maybe we're gonna start with grams. You'll convert it to mole as you've mostly mastered now. Then we're gonna have to do a mole ratio to hop to a new compound. And that's what we're gonna work on here. So let's see, I think, um, let's do the, the steps to follow. So here's the steps you need to follow to work on a mole to mole ratio problem. Let me scoot that up so we can see it. Zoom in a little bit. Okay, so what's the first step? Um, steps to mole to mole ratios, steps. Mole to mole ratio problems. So there's some fairly simple steps to do. So number one, you need to look at a balanced chemical equation. So look, I'm gonna turn those into eyeballs, look, how did I say it? At, and let's make this all capitalized. A balance, B-A-L-A-N-C-E-D. Somehow if I spell a word, I don't misspell it. If I try to do it without verbalizing it. Look at a, oh, that should be a balanced chemical equation. So you have to rely when you're doing this, you're looking at a balanced chemical equation. And what we're going to do is, oh, this one's all marked up. Do I have, oh, oh well. Uh, no, I want to get one that's not marked up. Sorry. Where did I put the one I had earlier today? Oh, just sit here. Yes, that's it. No, yes, no, wait. Oh! Okay, so I don't want writing on it. Woo, okay. So we're on that one right there. Take a look at that. Here's the balanced equation since this is on the inside of your packet. And I really highly recommend that this page you add to your notes. You stick it in your notebook so you have reference for this. We're going to use this equation right here. So we're going to 
right, this is the one we'll do in our practice. Two moles of magnesium plus one mole of oxygen. That'll be oxygen gas, but one mole of oxygen will react and yield two moles of magnesium oxide. So we're just going to write that down on here. Let's see, it was two moles of magnesium are going to react with, I think it's just one mole of oxygen yielding or producing, thank you, two moles of magnesium oxide. Now we'll be doing this one as a demo because we're going to be, you'll be getting to burn some magnesium metal, but that's in a couple of weeks here. So this is the balanced chemical equation we're going to look at that we'll use in our example here. And let's see, so step two. So once we've, we've got the equation we're needing, step two is we need to set up the ratio. Uh, step, uh, that's a sh set up ratio. I should say set up mole to mole ratio. And let's see, we practiced that in the starter here. So you're going to take, when we do this ratio, we want what you're trying to find is going on the top. So we're going to put find, I'll put equals, and then find. What you're looking for is over what you're given. And when we were learning the MVP triangle, every one of these, any time, if you're going up here to volume, what you're going to is always on the top of the ratio of, the, of, this, mole, of this fraction. So we have 22.4 is on the top, and since we're coming from the mole, that's on the bottom of, this, of the um, fraction. So the same thing, when we're doing mole ratios, we want to, what we're trying to find, we're always going to put it on the top. What we're given, we're going to put the number of those moles we'll put on the bottom. And let's see, the next step here, okay, so this will equal moles of compound B from our diagram up there, divided by the moles of the given. In this case, the given we'll call, we'll say is always going to be part A on the triangle. So on this paper, I'm going back now to the inside cover here. So we've got this equation right here. And the problem says, now we're not going to do the whole problem. You're not ready for that yet, but you're going to be, you're really close to it. If you react 48 grams of magnesium metal, how many liters of O2 gas will you use? So my question for you is, what's the given in this? 48 grams of magnesium or liters of O2 gas? What's the given? 48 grams of magnesium. magnesium. So on, we're going to go back over here. That's the given. So over here, let's just put a little arrow on there. And we're going to label that magnesium for this particular problem is the given. We're given, I think, grams of magnesium. And then what are we trying to find in that problem? Liters of O2. So we're trying to find oxygen. So right here, I'm going to label this one as the find. So now that we know this is what we're given, grams of, of magnesium, we need to find liters of this. In fact, it, so now we just got to set up the, the mole ratio. Now I'm going to slide this down. So let's see, we just said that magnesium is the given. So I'm just going to put here very softly Mg, just to remind me, okay, magnesium in this problem. And we're trying to find O2. So I'm going to say this, uh, this MVP triangle is for O2. And this one is for magnesium. And in our balanced equation, how many moles of B, which is O2, do we have in our balanced equation? You agree with that? How many moles there? Yeah, just one. There's an invisible coefficient one right there. So we're going to say one mole O2. This is why I've been harping on you for four weeks. Put the unit and the chemical because it's really important in the mole ratio. And our moles of A, which was the given, which is magnesium, how many moles of magnesium in the balanced equation? How many moles of magnesium? Two. Two. I know you're like, it's that, e yeah, it's that easy. Two moles 
of mg. And this becomes, when we're doing these stoichiometry problems now, these full ones, this will be the middle part. This is what we call the ratio. We're comparing what we're looking, moles and the balanced equation of what we're looking for compared to moles of what we're trying to find. And I think, so at this point, what I'd like you to do, oh, any question on there that you'd like me to go over before we work a practice problem? Okay, so let's pull out the current packet that I just gave you, that you picked up today. Okay, so let me go to my period two one. So the very first page, it's now this is on the new packet. In fact, actually, if you're watching this video, you're going to need to go to the, the video that says getting started mole to mole. So I'm going to stop this now. Okay, this is the part I can.